Hey everyone, Chris here with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. Mike and I are traveling here in the Snowden Peak area, east of Mullis Pass. We came out today to evaluate new snow bonding with the old snow surface, as well as look for evidence of drifting along ridge tops and upper elevations. While touring in today, we noticed an avalanche on this slope right behind us. This, from a distance, we assumed this avalanche failed in a large wind drifted pocket. Once we got closer, what we realized is that this avalanche started in a drift near the surface. And once it got down below the cliffs, it broke on a weaker layer of near surface facets that's sitting under a wind board that formed sometime over the last week and a half. Roughly about the same depth as this avalanche behind me. We didn't observe any propagating failures here in the new old snow interface. We've actually seen good bonding while touring in today. No cracking or collapsing. And our stability test only produced non-propagating failures in this upper softer snow. But what a propagating test here, as well as natural activity behind me tells us is that we know that there's weak snow in the upper snowpack. Our slab has finally gotten deep enough to where this weak layer is starting to become reactive. And as we move forward in an active period, thicken this slab, this weak layer bec could become more reactive to the weight of a rider or if wind drifted pockets fell naturally. So uh, we still need to be on the lookout for how thick and stiff these upper wind drifted slabs are and know that in the upper snowpack, we have some buried weak layers that could potentially be a lot more touchier as we move forward in the next few days with more snow and wind.